Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Emperor Moretti here, and today we are recording uh, day one of my super modded survival. Here you can clearly see that there's something a bit different about my uh, layout here. It's because I've installed the advanced genetics mod and given myself a little boost so that I can actually survive the first night, hopefully and for some time after. The entire point of this mod is for me to eventually become, oh my god, lag spike. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, to eventually become stronger than the Ender Dragon. Yeah, I know it's a far-flung goal, ladies and gentlemen, but it is possible. Using the mods that I have installed, I plan to become immortal. Oh yeah, immortal awesomeness. Oh yeah. And let me turn down that volume. Much better. Now, so for what we're doing now is I'm simply setting up the typical nub hut. I've chopped down a few trees around here as you can see from my iron axe and all that. Oh, yeah, and one other thing. Check out this awesomeness, yeah. I am actually in survival mode right now, and ooh, actually I could do this too. No fall damage. Yeah, a perk of the advanced genetics mod. But anyway, cow, get out of here. Actually, you know what? I could use some more beef. Thank you, cow. Moo. <laughs> yeah, moo, cow, moo. Okay, now let's mine up the stone here. I'm going to go out with a simple mining house to begin with before I actually design a home. Yes, this this will be quite interesting. Oh, by the way, to any and all people who are watching this, I do have a compatriot by the name of Metal007 who is uh, doing a modded survival with one of his friends in a multiplayer form. Of course, since he has a friend, he doesn't need any help to begin with. But, whatever. Okay, so I got dirt here, which is, you know, a universal building tool for the nubbish. Yeah. Won't be long. My god, the sun's moving fast. Uh, okay, let's... Let's see here. Uh, oak wood planks. Okay, then let's turn four of those into a crafting bench. Eh, look, I got the achievement. Oh, yeah, benchmarking. Whee! Oh, yeah, so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Won't take but a few seconds. Let's see here. Okay, now, um, let's see. Judging from how high I am at head level, I'm going to need this shack to be, uh, at around about four blocks high. God dang it. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, just a little bit short on wood here, so we'll just, uh... We'll just go and harvest this tree here. Luckily for us, we still got plenty of time. You may notice some of the waypoints out in the distance. I have done a little bit ex of exploring in this world. 
Uh, found a few things here, there, and yonder, but I wasn't quite equipped for them yet. So I figured, hey, we'll just start in a nice zone like this here. By the way, remind me, when I get in here, set a waypoint. So if I die, I can teleport back in. Yeah. Is that a cow? Yeah, that's a cow. Okay, good. I thought it was an Enderman. Okay. Well, then again, who really cares about Ender Enderman anymore here? Okay. Now, don't need anything fancy right here. Actually, I need to have enough wood to build the door, so... Let's see here... Okay. Now... Okay. Now that I've done that... I know you guys must be thinking, man, it's so dark. Let me see. No, that's as bright as it gets. So I guess I'm just going to have to uh, make us some torches here. And, uh, 50 cobble? How in the... Okay, well, whatever. So, I'll smelt some wood. And get us some charcoal before the night is over. I never did like using birch wood, so I think that'll be the tree I cut. Let's see here, just just some birch saplings and all that, yeah. Yeah, so far this modded survival is turning out great. I mean, I got some meat. I mean, this is probably going to let me coast into the real stuff here. You know, nobody wants to see that boring junk that we see in all those old modded survivals, you know. You start out with a cruddy house and all that, and it, it just turns garbage after that. And it gets so boring. This modded survival... Nope. Okay, we'll have just enough charcoal to make one torch. No, wait. Four torches, yeah. Okay, so... Hopefully we'll be able to find some coal down here. Yeah, I always get to search one extra block because I'm three blocks high. No coal yet. Let's dig out from here. Maybe we'll get lucky. I see a spider over there, but no coal. Let's go say hello, everyone. Iron, yay.
Yeah, I don't want to go too close to that gorge. At least not until we have coal. And again, I am wearing all iron stuff, and the night is approaching fast. Hmm. I guess we'll spend the night mining. I know you guys are thinking, oh, this is turning out to be one of those same old modded survivals. He's going for a mining trip. But hey, look, you do have to have some integrity somewhere, okay? I can't just start off at the beginning and say, oh look, I'm all powerful now. Yeah. Some people will try that, but not me, no. Hmm. Uh, darn it. We're running out of fuel as usual. Of course, we're not running low on food, and my armor is at full. And I'm beginning to regret that climbing ability. In between episodes, I might have to filter it out. It's good for overworld travel, not really when you're in thin mining tunnels. Oh my, scary cave noise. Okay, that's... That's okay. That's okay. Scary cave noise ain't gonna hurt us. At least not until we make it mad. Just, just nobody, nobody make it angry here. You don't want that cave to come to life and attempt to chew us up like some godforsaken ma monster. Yes. Mm. Well, anyway. Hmm. Still no sign of coal. <sighs> it's raining. Oh yeah, that's gonna make the morning just pleasant. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that means we're just going to have to go for the gorge and hope for the best. Oh, wait. Let's see here. Video settings. Bright. Okay, that gives us a little bit more here. But we have no more pickaxe, so I gotta go back up. Now, we're also low on fuel, so I can't smelt it, so. We're just gonna make a little cobble pick here. Stone pick. Yeah, I'm really... <laughs> Dumb spider. Oh my god, lag spike. Okay, now what? Okay. We have some iron here. Well, now that we have a mine that has coal in it, thanks to my deductive skills, um, one of our major advantages now are we have to light this up. And using the cave mapping that I have in the top right-hand corner, we can now determine 
some mobs without even knowing about it. Without them knowing about us. Uh, so, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty decent amount of coal for now, so I'm just going to, um, do that for right now. I mean, it's not like it's that bad, but it is rather dark down there, and I'd hate for something to... Oh my, this is getting quite unpleasant outside. Okay, well... Now that we have food and coal, we can start smelting. Yeah, all that awesome health I have right there. Yeah. Now we can turn this birch wood into birch wood planks. And then now that we have birch wood planks, I can turn it into something I don't like. Well, actually, I don't like birch wood normally, so this is actually a step up. So let's put some of this stuff away here. We got leather, we have cobble, we have string, our oak saplings, this raw beef, this mushroom. Good. You know, I'm tempted to go out there and show those mobs who's boss, and then I think, well, why ruin our good armor just yet? So, we have five iron ingots. And we have some birchwood planks. Which is good. So, let's see here. We have a new iron pick, which is always nice. So, let's go out there and see what we can mine up now. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta love that smooth sound of an iron pick mining away at cobble. Just so relaxing. Okay, let's go into that little gorge that I discovered. And, uh, get some more minerals for us. To use. Oh, crap. This is what I was afraid would happen. Well, sort of. Except I thought it might have been lava. Okay, let's, let's make some torches here so that we don't uh, get ambushed while we're down here. Now, for those of you who might be thinking... Yeah, this guy wouldn't be so brave if he didn't have all that excess health and all that. Well, I'd like to tell you something. If you've seen any of my other modded survivals, I personally don't need light. The light is actually just a formality so that you can see what I'm doing. And if you honestly think I'm scared down here, you're dead wrong. Honestly, I will charge head on towards a creeper people have seen me do that before. Three out of four times I get blown up. The other one-fourth of a time I blow up that creeper. But the point is I am not afraid down here. After all, I'm a labyrinth dweller. I've lived in labyrinths. 
Now, let's light up some stuff down here so we don't have mobs spawning everywhere. And so our viewers can actually see what... What? Oh, lag spike. Lag spike. Oh, look! We have guests! Hello, guests! I think I'll just uh, close this up right here. It's not like we have anyone who will be coming around mining this. Yeah. What? In the... Oh. I should have known. Better seal that up, too. Well, so far, we're stuck between a rock and a place full of zombies. And we have bats flipping all around us here. Let's see here. Oh, crap, another lag spike. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Fraps is very laggy. Eh. I'll have to find out some ways to delagify it and all that. And lagify, yeah, that's an interesting word right there. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I have a decent amount of cobblestone now. So I could possibly go up there and expand the house a little bit more. Or I could get some more wood. But we obviously picked a very good location to begin our mining operation. So, I'm going to go up to the surface and see what we have to play with up here. Oh, look! Another shaft area. Oh, look! More neighbors! Oh, crap. Crap! My god, nerf these guys for god's sakes. Can't even see them. Okay, there we go. Remember, never put the block over the source. Always simply allow it to be covered. That way you can use it to your advantage later. When dealing with creepers, always remember water does flow. Yeah, okay, another lag spike. Yeah, I, I might have to turn off the rain if that keeps up. Okay, let's see what's down here. <sighs> Creeper up there hiding in the corner. Skeleton right here. Surprise! Well, I don't know who's more su Oh, crap, not lag. Anything but lag. No! Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Now, I may be three blocks high, but I'm not as dumb as Enderman, that's for sure. Which means I'm going to use these useless dirt blocks. Nerd pole up here. Seal the entrance and get back into the base. Because walking outside in the rain during the day is just not a good idea. Especially at first light. Yeah, but we definitely have cows that we could farm. Yeah. Let's see how much... Okay, yeah, we got more iron. And our coal supply is decent. Hmm. Oh my god! Come on, Mojang! M nerf them, for god's sakes! 
Well, at least we got some arrows now. Well, I would say that this recording session has been a smashing success. This has been Emperor Moretti, or otherwise known as Visibil. And to all my friends at MO7 Productions, it has been a wonderful recording session. And please, make sure to view their modded survival over at Metal 007's channel in the description. So, see ya!